Cadell Johnson says there was no malicious intent behind his family owning a pet monkey. It was more like a toddler with agility. <laughs> Johnson says it belonged to his wife, who got Bella from a place in Tennessee when she was just six weeks old. Cadell says Bella was part of the family. Bottle fed her and, and everything. She'd groom you, sit on your lap, kiss you, hug you. It is against the law to own a primate here in New Hampshire. Part of the reason it's illegal is because we, we don't have um, any way or any, any good way to make sure that these animals are healthy and stay and get their shots, and so it's a safety concern. Johnson's wife, too emotional to speak on camera, says she didn't know it was illegal to own the monkey. It didn't say in the code that it just said chimpanzees and gorillas. New Hampshire Fish and Game says they previously visited the family a few years back after hearing about the animal. We asked them at that time to, to, you know, to get the monkey out of the state and they were not charged. Johnson says it was during that time the family was in the middle of moving to North Carolina and couldn't find a place for Bella. We had knew nobody there. We had no place to, to bring Bella. We loved her, you know what I'm saying? Is we well, ain't gonna just leave her with just anything. And now currently Bella is being housed at a local vet who specializes in primate care. Fish and Game says they are working with a rehabilitator to find a more permanent home for the animal. Live in the studio, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.